Can Hazel Irvin do that? Well, first, <laughs> the fun of the football pitch, Hazel. I cannot do that, no. <laughs> Good evening. Kilmarnock defender Kevin McGowan has signed a new four-year deal, which will keep him at Rugby Park until 2003. The Killy defender will travel with the rest of the squad to Portugal on Saturday for a mid-season training week and is confident that on their return, the Rugby Parkers will continue to make a serious challenge for the championship. Kilmarnock currently boasts the best defensive record in Scotland, in part thanks to Kevin McGowan, who's demonstrated his abilities this season to score goals, as well as keeping them out. And the central defender, who's been touted for international honours, says Rugby Park is the place for him to make further progress. Since I've came here, I think the, the club's been in an upward spiral. Uh, when, we, when I came here, I was toiling a wee bit and like, trying to get clear of relegation, but uh, we managed to get out of that year, and the next year we're in Europe won the cup and this year we're going quite well and I feel the club is going in the right direction on and off the part. How important is the retaining of Kevin McGowan for you? Yeah, I think it's very important uh, to replace Kevin. It, was a, it cost us a, a lot of money, I suppose. Uh, we know what we're getting with Kevin. He's been here a while now and uh, he's been solid for us this season and uh, hopefully he'll be solid for the rest of the season and the rest of his contract. Four points behind Rangers at the mid-season break mark. Second place Killy show no signs of easing up. This time last year, it was Hearts who posed the major threat to the old firm. They were in third position, four points off the pace with a game in hand. So would a rest have enhanced the Tynecastle side's chances of sustaining their league challenge? Well, it could have. I, I don't know uh, uh, Hearts' circumstances last year, whether injuries or uh, suspensions, but definitely it's, it's got to help us. I feel it as, uh, just as I've said there, like a uh, smaller squad and that. It gives everybody a wee chance, a bit of freshness. Uh, well, we'll wait and see. The last uh, few games of the season, if we're still there, but I'm going to shout, I think. How important and how beneficial, potentially, could a break be at this point in the season? Well, it could be very beneficial. Uh, as you know, the weather's not great here. I'm absolutely freezing standing here talking to you. And uh, we're hoping for a bit of sunshine over in Portugal and some ideal climate to actually work in. Uh, at this moment in time in, in Scotland, we can't train in the afternoons because uh, the park gets dug up in the mornings and plus guys are freezing by the time the afternoon comes round. So, over there, we're hoping that the weather will be suitable for afternoon sessions as well, and uh, hopefully the guys will be able to learn a bit.